नमस्ते मित्रों आर्ट टीवी में सभी का स्वागत है आज के इस एक कलाकार के एपिसोड में हम बात करेंगे गोवा के एक ब्रिलियंट आर्टिस्ट एक कलाकार से शिल्पा नासनोडकर शिल्पा नासनोडकर इज अ ग्रेजुएट इन फार्मेसी एंड फ्रॉम द फील्ड ऑफ फार्मेसी शी इज कम नॉट टू द फील्ड ऑफ आर्ट सो लेट सी हाउ दिस ट्रांजिशन हैज हैपन एंड लेट अस सी व्हाट इज inspired her what has transformed her and uh, what, uh, what what is that uh, uh, energy behind her thought process wherein she creates such powerful and energetic artworks a warm welcome shilpa art tv mein swagat hai yeah namaste thank you namaste. thank you for having me here it's 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 okay. a pleasure it's a pleasure always <laughs> it's a pleasure always uh, viewing your artworks shilpa at the same time uh, uh, whenever we have discussed whenever we have spoken it's always a pleasure talking to you and uh, there are many many curious questions curious aspects i'll tell you shilpa ye sirf mera hi sawal nahi jab main aapke artworks mere doston ke sath bhi jab main discuss wagera karta hu usually aisa hota hai dusre dusre artists ke artworks hum baith ke discuss karte hai to kafi sare Uh, उनके उनके क्या बोलते हैं ओपिनियंस आते हैं उनके जो थॉट आते हैं तो दैट हैज इंक्रीज माय क्यूरियोसिटी व्हिच आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस विद यू एंड टॉक टू यू हियर राइट या बट बिफोर बिगिनिंग दैट लाइक वन ऑफ माय माय वन ऑफ माय बिगेस्ट क्यूरियोसिटीज वाज यू आर फ्रॉम गोवा बेस्ड इन गोवा यू यू कंप्लीटेड योर ग्रेजुएशन इन फार्मेसी and pharmacy is something uh, uh, it is like you know for example jab medical mein padhte hain students padhte hain to they 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 learn only what is the action of drug but whereas in pharmacy you have to learn the action of drug and production of drug <laughs> so it's right. like such an such a different world of pharmacy where you are studying thinking speaking action of drugs द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ ड्रग एंड वहां से वो सब छोड़ के ब्रश कलर के साथ इतने एक्सप्रेशनिस्ट पेंटिंग्स में ये कैसा चेंज हो गया समथिंग अबाउट योर ओके द बिगिनिंग ऑफ यू नो व्हेन आई स्टार्टेड माय फार्मेसी आई वाज इनटू दैट बिकॉज आई डिट गेट एनी वेर एल्स सो दैट वॉज द रीजन आई एंडेड इट इन टू द फार्मेसी and uh, after doing my graduation i realized that it was not for me okay. and uh, i happened to uh, go in a gallery um which there was a painting okay it was a very simplistic painting of a bamboo shoot and uh, just the colors of that bamboo and light just percolating through it and the price for this shape of the painting was around 1200 so the mm-hmm. the amount over there intrigued me a lot i said it is very simple and for that it's that much so i went home and i took my colors and i started it and it was very difficult i couldn't compare my painting to that whatsoever so there it trickled that i want to do this then um, came uh, subodh kerkar gallery mm-hmm. where i mm-hmm. met him and uh, i was exposed to the books wherein i got van gogh in my hands mm-hmm. again fascinated with the colors i tried it couldn't get anywhere close to it so i started learning it then even my my sirs uh, when 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 we used to go for the outdoor paintings and all he used to give me the colors and uh, again you know it was like comparing if i can paint like him but no way close to him so i started studying then i met uh, margaret masquerinas she was kind of a person like she said there is something happening in over here you have the potential when she said and coming from her it really shook me i i thought okay i believed her whatever she said it was 
I had a potential. I said, okay, fine, let me try. So every now and then, whenever I used to paint, I used to take the bundle of my paintings to her house and she used to shift it. I mean, uh, separate chan leti thi. Yeah. She used to do that. And uh, by luck, uh, again, when I was returning from my home, I entered a bookshop wherein I met Mr. Shilkar, Suha Shilkar. He mm. was over there. I knew he was an artist. So I approached him. I showed her, I showed him my paintings. So again, he also did the Chanlena. Okay. And when he did, I put a cross. Even with at Margaret's place, I had put a cross wherever they had uh, shifted the work. So and I uh, found that whatever Margaret had collected, the same thing Shilkar also had chose. And there was another mentor who mentors me is Swati Shilkar. Ah, oh, sorry, uh, Swati Nair. Mm -hmm. So she also did the same process. So what happened was the, the sifting of my work was the thing that whatever is chosen by them were the paintings supposed to be good. So what is good in them? That intrigued me more. And then I started my studying seriously with all these mentors. Mm. And it my journey is all about meeting the right people at the right time. Nothing else. Nobody, wherever I stood, there was a dhakka. Everybody pushed me. Like, okay, mm. come on, further. And when it started, when, when I knew that I could do it, and it was different, and it was giving me that, uh, that, uh, that thrill, that kill, the go for a kill kind of an attitude, it made me work more and i worked i worked i still work a lot okay so this is the way how you got a track from i mean so the the from from pharmacy to art yeah and this is very nice very interesting and uh, because basically see you are in such a place goa and uh, Goa is blessed by nature. It's blessed by, um, I can say, like both the urban and the and 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 the and the indigenous or the rural part. It has yeah. both the ends. It has uh, it has an interaction with almost all the international centers. Yeah, we do have we have a lot of exposure. Yeah, in terms of art, also like yeah. if he also is there then um, then the galleries also are there but okay that was a sound exposure the library over here the it has good amount of books so exposure yeah. was there so and definitely the names that you mentioned of swa shilkar and others all are brilliant artists really brilliant people yeah but uh, uh um now the second second thing what i would like to ask you is now this question uh, oh, se aaya? It's, it's like you know for example it is like i i i discuss i have discussions with my other artists and other friends over here usually uh ke kaam ke mein bhi hum karte in the yeah. sense you know just to have an art interaction and it so happened once i showed images of your artworks to one of a person here and i asked him Kaisa hai? what do you think so that guy, he saw the paintings, he said, oh my God, this man should be like, you know, he should be like that of a, a stud, like a bikey, like, you know, with like tattoos, gators and all such force, such energetic and all, you know, someone who's always on high, like this way. <laughs> and someone who's like very, you know, aggressive, someone who's very wild, like this way. And uh, after he gave all these descriptions, then I showed your photograph. And I said, look, this is the lady. And he couldn't believe. He says, like, the way you speak, the way you are, you're so sober, your voice, your, 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 your communication, your conversation is all very like, you know, it's a, uh, 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 it's soft. But when you see the artworks, the brush strokes, the compositions, the confidence, the energy, the power, the aggressiveness, the wildness there, 
विच हैज ऑल दैट एनर्जी ऑफ एडवेंचर सो ये यूजली हम ऐसे कहते हैं कि आर्ट इज द आउटपुट ऑफ अवर पर्सनैलिटी so when i when i have got even in goa last time when i met you like ye itna matlab aisa lagta hai ki bahut nazuk hai and kaam dekha to itna kadak hai to ye 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 paradox kaisa how is that okay see when i paint it is a process like and if i think when i'm doing the work it mellows down so the thinking has to be at the back of your mind it is studied whatever you have learned is at the back so when you are in the front when you are performing in front of the canvas what happens is you are out of your senses you are not you it is it, it goes to the level where you just blast over so i mm-hmm. think i am a rebellious person by heart so all the all the energy which is there in me it is a physicality of the work when i use the brush so when i am doing it i think i go a little tripsy and a uh, kind of uh at a you different your original avatar like nahi nice. yeah totally i think i can if if pushed to something i can achieve something i can i can do things which are unimaginable at my level which i am now but when i am in that trance when i am i am painting it the process takes over i mean i'm not thinking that time so it is that painting that emerges and that whatever i feel okay fine that i feeling is not there now it is totally taken over and whatever image erupts over there it is very spontaneous it has to be very evocative it has to be very eruptive kind of a thing okay so and it has to be done at one go it you have to kill at one go you cannot uh, stop and then again go to that process it doesn't happen that way so if you have that energy of painting i can i mean i process i uh, my major when i'm painting is i have two three images going so that frenzy should remain if that frenzy drops the painting dies so that uh, that spontaneity should be there and i go to that madness when i'm painting but i come back to myself when i am not painting so that's it excellent brilliant i i uh, the uh, the reason why i asked you is because i think that is the true sense of an artist artist be most of the people jo uh, uh, the द रियल जेन्यून आर्ट जो निकलता है वो कहते हैं ना कि इट इज लाइक यू नो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इट इज लाइक प्यार किया नहीं जाता है प्यार हो जाता है सिमिलरली आर्ट किया नहीं जाता है आर्ट हो जाता है अपना माइंड इंटेलिजेंस का काम नहीं होता है समथिंग दैट कम्स फ्रॉम द सोल एंड समथिंग दैट यू नो द एनर्जी विद इन यू परफॉर्म्स एंड दैट्स इट डन खत्म इट्स लाइक सो योर आर्ट वर्क your subjects basically uh, see uh, i uh, i think you have tried your hands on some couple of subjects but of these subjects the portraits especially the yeah. faces of of uh, when i when i see those faces it's a it's a common man's face a common woman's face yeah and uh, has those beautiful gestures of your 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 paintings are not something which is uh, 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 which is very uh, what do you say they are at peace or tranquility it is like uh, uh, they look stable they look strong but with the chaos within dikhta hai kyunki har insaan har insaan ke andar dil dimag mein hum jo dekhte hain sab you you walk out on the street any person you meet has some chaos going on within his mind or heart but, you know something life struggles hote hain issues hote hain problems hote hain stress hota hai you know rejections hote hain failures hote hain poverty hota hai sadness hota hai anything but in spite of all those chaos still there is a balance which we human beings maintain yeah so so when i see your paintings the 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 stability in the in in that uh, in that expression is very nice but at the same time the the chaos represented within also is beautiful now 
so so uh, uh, my uh, i have i have questions at three layers first one is how do you choose your subjects and second one is uh, uh, what are your observations when you when you see a face or a subject or something and how do you express it out because your paintings are not something on the impressionism side it is on the expressionist side you you try to capture the feeling the mood the emotions rather than the uh, the the uh, what do you say it's not a very nice technical portrait or something but the human emotions and feelings and chaos going on right you mean so how do you choose your subject what is that thing that inspires or catches your eyes or mind for faces and how is that expression uh, 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 evolve within you because planning is not there your painting does not have any planning yeah getting me so it has something that 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 tornado that tufan has to come down has, has to start begin something from you and khatam so how can yeah. you so if you can just share your experiences like okay see diastopian uh, is the flavor of the century right it is the diastopic vision that if you can see somebody like um i i see these people like mad people the people they are the day to day uh, i mean uh, on goers or the people who are there with which we meet but we are not able to uh, kind of store this in our head i can like like for example if i go with my sister and if i i say okay this is the madman which i see i like him i like his features i like but that doesn't mean that i uh, i have that uh, what you say i don't click photographs for me it is very uh when you see a person you it's like clicked person. By eyes and mind that's yeah, it it's there but i i realize what happens is uh, people don't uh, tend to see them they see them but they are ignored they are not a uh, kind of uh, stored in your head or somewhere okay they are not given that much significance but if you see the turmoil with in their eyes if, if you kind of uh, find uh, what you say that day to day stress everybody has it the madness streak is there in everybody it is like the it is like a chaos which is bottled up with silence so that kind of chaotic silence if i can come up with when i'm painting intrigues me a lot i like that 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 uh, what you say i cannot i think no i think you you chose the right word i i uh, i think i sh i should change my word it is not the stability in that expression but it is that silence which you you're correct a lot of chaos that's bottled up with but it is silent so a yeah. silent chaos like i understand i change yeah. the words uh, i stand change yeah so uh, these people have nothing to speak okay they they are not there to tell you a story but if that image can converse with you it if it can communicate whatever is there in their in their appearance that intrigues and interests me the lot i like that i mm. like those expressions so i guess when i'm painting this collection of my visual vocabulary which i go on having is uh, comes up when i'm painting it so that is the process which i go through nothing more because even if i uh, try to portray somebody uh, uh, somebody kind of you know uh, the portrait painting with those uh, there is a sense of chaotic silence in that portrait that emotion is there maybe it is at the back of my head that comes up i cannot tell you because whenever i'm painting i am painting i don't think but the process is this i understand understand uh uh when I, when i see your paintings it's like i i get it like you know the brush strokes the background that you apply it's all like full 
but the real drama is in the lines yeah which is wrong uh, it's like yeah. the background yeah. the, the the huge gush of colors wo pura ekdam dal dete ho lekin baad mein jo lines draw karke us background forms ko jo leke aate ho usme so what is that what what is that thing i think you're more more, more um, the most interesting aspect of your paintings is those lines which you draw to this thing they are the ones who create the drama right and that to like you know such hard strokes of lines such thick paste of colors so how is that uh, can can you tell something about that what is so fascinating about that i like the stark presence of these images it's that it it's that uncomforting discomforting kind of image that attitude which is there i like to paint that so that discomforting thing when you are doing it cannot be mellowed down or when you are doing it it has to be with that force if if it has to have the visual impact it has to have that intensity so the intensity i think is gathered uh, uh when you are working with that physicality i don't say that there, there can be other process also where even the the mellowed down the silence of a painting without any stark lines you can have that coming out that also is another process there are many artists doing that also you know you have that with no strokes at all but that what do you say uh, the still water which runs deep kind of a thing okay but in my paintings what happens is the physicality moves into it i like the movement the 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 thing to be got out with the uh, with the agitations with that pose if i have to portray it then i have to work in the same pose it doesn't have if it mellows down I, as i say it it dies so it is that whatever is lurking everywhere but nobody wants to see it it is i understand. i get it it is that uh, what is that it is discomforting you want to say it but you kind of ignore it okay so so all these things are going in my head when i do those paintings that's it nothing more to it <laughs> and 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 the colors that you use also is so challenging it's like lemon yellow it's like viridian uh, this thing it's like green turquoise green yeah. blue and yeah. that to add right in the in the in the middle of the face somewhere like or the uh, the hair grown yellow lemon yellow and all like how do you get this so, so such wild such uh, this thing you know they are all rebellious they are they are wild but a jungli ki samke it has you know that that strong like but at the same time very well balanced very controlled like see yeah. that's the beauty of your, the, the your painting but it is very difficult to make that balance because if i it is very thin the line which i'm drawing is very thin if i fall into the other side it goes into the caricaturist kind of work or it kind of it, it becomes it becomes uh, it, it doesn't fall into art okay yeah. so that stability that line which you're talking about is very very thin now the colors as as i say uh, as we all know that um, uh, each one of us everybody everybody has that madness the streak of madness which is there hidden in the same way all the colors also have their own madness when you're working with colors the green which is mellowed if it is used with some kind of an uh, backdrop of some kind of an uh, what you see something to go next to it you know it can be out so i try to bring that sense of that popping out of uh, colors i like this artist um, hans hoffman he has a very good uh, uh, this of utility uh, using colors wherein you know they stand together but each of them have a conflict and this conflict of colors if you use in your form that form kind of you know turns to be alive you can give a life to that if you can play with those colors it can be any color black and white turns 
uh, what you say, they are the most uh, easiest thing to work on with. But when you're working with colors, you have to think about what other color can conflict with that so that it can just push that color. It is a kind of a fight that goes along with the colors also when you're doing that. So <laughs> you work with that sense in your head. So you have to kind of understand colors for making them fight, to have the fight on the canvas. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so uh, um, I definitely uh, agree on this point because it looks like it's like a chess game between you and your canvas. Yeah, it is like, like, you know, yeah, many like, times you know, there are failures. There is a, there is, there is a kind of, uh, uh, many, uh, each canvas has many paintings behind it. It doesn't come up right at what one strike. You know, there are failures where you have to kind of erase it and then again work over it. So, but the right thing comes only when you have that right, right, tool to kill that thing at that time yeah. it has to strike it, it it is not blunt it has to be sharp to kill it at one go it, yeah. it doesn't have it doesn't have to uh, it doesn't have to die a torturing kind of a death yeah i'm talking about that more. i'm trying yeah. to explain you <laughs> that's no I, I i get it i try to you uh, know the same thing i can put like you know chess game like it is like first you give a stroke to the canvas and then the stroke the canvas returns back that stroke makes it move and then you are forced to again make your move and then your canvas moves and then so in these in all these times your forms your lines colors you are using these are your these are your points right yeah it's like you know yeah. it where, has to be precise yeah. it has to see it is a fight as i say it is a fight i i like to put that term because when i'm with the canvas it is a fight okay? yeah so when yeah. you are in the fight you have to kind of have the precise tool the precision is very important you can be unsure okay you can be spontaneous you can be very violent also but that precision which is there you know where it should end that kind of a thing that ending point is very important when you're doing a painting okay and then you just leave it yeah yeah finish it up i know i know that's why the, the your painting looks very simple but trust me it has it has many moves it has many moves like that of a chess <laughs> it's not something and that's why i feel like uh, uh, it's very difficult to replicate your paintings yeah yeah they're it's different. not it's not easy because the number of layers the number of strokes the number of uh, you know the moves that you have there it's not something that's easy for anyone to <laughs> <laughs> so, so it is a fight <laughs> it is it is uh, i wouldn't say it as a fight but it is a beautiful um <laughs> art exchange where uh, 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 between you between the artist and the canvas yeah and uh, where um, the lines forms and colors these become the tools and yeah. it's like you know it's like it's an excellent yeah so uh, so definitely uh, i think you're uh, like uh, how how much time usually do you spend in front of the canvas 2 hours 4 hours 5 hours see if it is a small work Again, it depends upon the uh, the way you're painting. It, it 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 cannot happen every day, okay? But to come to that spot, you have to kind of really think about whatever you have with you. Again, thinking how to kill it, and that killing is a what you say a meditative process. It is already thought of. But when you are doing that kill, your mind is yeah. blank. Your yeah. intelligence is gone. It is gone. It can be with five minutes also, if it is on paper. It can be 15 minutes also if I'm kind of battling with it. Or it can be, OK, I've done it. I stop it. I do it again. I stop it. I do it again. I stop it. It goes on for another 15 days also. Mm -hmm. But eventually, eventually, when you feel that painting is done with, or you have killed the go, I mean, killed, you have hunted it, then it is left. 
then you have that piece and then you yeah. sign it up. Yeah. Usually, I, even I don't sign it. I just keep it aside. That is done. So that doesn't uh, come back to me. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, yeah, it is there. <laughs> I, I, I always have that in my head. So once it is done, it's closed. Khatam. Yeah, it is closed. It is closed. I don't go over it again. It is done. You have been working on this series, especially with this human, the uh, the unnoticed or uh, you know not recognized faces. This has been here. Now, apart from this one subject, has there been any other subject which has fascinated you and it is still in your bucket list? Saying this is one more subject which I need to do now. Ah, uh, see, I'm in Goa. Mm -hmm. Landscapes are are in my list but I, I do small landscapes what i want to do is i want to go huge mm -hmm. so that would be really fascinating to have a huge canvas with the huge space just playing with those colors and making the landscape happen in the way which i want to paint it landscapes are there then uh even the seascapes, mm -hmm. some kind of a see, it could border to the abstraction, but uh, I'm more of a representational kind of an, uh, a painter where the a form is um, necessary for me. If I if I drop into that abstraction level again, my comfort is kind of. Uh, disheveled i cannot uh, be comfortable in that mm -hmm. because it goes to the i don't know whether i will venture into that i don't know i cannot say but uh, for me i like clinging to a form and then kind of breaking it it might be abstraction also but some residues of the form inside representational but into abstraction because abstract is the highest uh, area where you can really play with whatever is there in your head but it is very what you say uh it is uh, very few can really touch that thing true so so for me that would be my bucket bucket list or the end Okay, let us leave it at that, that I don't want to end somewhere. I just want to go into whatever comes my way because uh, I like doing this also, that also. It's like, a, a you know, uh, a, anything. It can be a picking kind of an, uh, thing. Even uh, I would love to pick up some things from artists and do something which is uh, mine. Nobody realizes that, okay, she has done, I mean, she has robbed it from somewhere. So when it comes, that robbing comes, um, as Picasso also has said, right, it, it, but nobody should see it. Some some kind of a nice quotation he has given. I love that quotation. Rob mm -hmm. it and pick it your own or something like that. I don't know. But that is very important because sometimes some things that you don't see, the obvious, they are made obvious in somebody else's painting. So you can pick it up and introduce in your painting and make it your own but nobody should realize it because that realization if somebody realizes it then you fall into the category of uh being inspired mm -hmm. being inspired is one thing and uh, uh, kind of putting it into your words and making your statement about that whatever you have robbed is another thing so yeah so I would love to do that. I would love to pick and borrow from everybody and see what happens. I, I usually do that also. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, uh, um, see, most of the artists definitely do this. But uh, what I find is that you openly, uh, you discuss this. OK, you don't discuss it. <laughs> yeah. Because okay. uh, I, I have seen, I have seen with many artists, and many artists do, do, do watch, watch others' works they do get inspired by those subjects they do pick up this thing 
and that is why usually for the students category i usually tell them see once an experienced artist he knows how to see it's not that you're picking up a subject but you see a subject and you see yeah this was something in my mind too and maybe this subject i will represent it this way yeah okay yeah, even the, the color the scheme of the color it. scheme in a painting yeah. when it comes in your hand it is just like cooking when you cook it becomes a different dish different dish. So, yeah yeah so th th that should be i mean i love doing that also yeah what is this uh what do you say see i mean uh, one of the significant things in goa or in govan art circle that i have seen is that unlike uh other states for example you see in, uh, if you go to maharashtra you see the, how the bombay uh, art uh, the school of art goes like yeah. where they have those landscapes portraits brilliant realistic paintings figurative paintings karnataka again you see very very good this thing kerala very brilliant artists and all yeah. so goa is something which is surrounded by these but goa has not been influenced goan school of thought that has not at all been influenced by any of these they are the they have their own abstraction and expressionist way of doing it be it the abstract painters for example you see you mentioned suasa's painting now suasa's abstract painting is totally different compared to that of uh, the mumbai or the maharashtra or the karnataka abstract painters and all you see yeah it's more it's more raw it's more virgin it's more like uh, you know just a uh, 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 the the grammar the vocabulary so what is the thing in goa when i see many any artist you see they break the forms they break the structures and their expression is something like and when i even when i see your work also like that it's like uh, uh, it's not into that traditional school of art of this thing it's like goa has something so uh what, what do you think what is that something important significant part something different that goa has which which can brilliantly break those forms into the raw structures and keep it like be it with colors be it with strokes be it with lines whatever you say yeah we have it in us right yeah we have uh, francis souza kaitundi then chilkar and then many of them many of them yeah yeah, yeah we have even the, even, even the landscape artists also see even go on big for example mario miranda mario yeah. miranda he, he knew how to create that narration that totally entire thing was very so uh, what, what is that thing so i think it is goa it's to do with goa come to goa and find it out for yourself <laughs> I know, I know, I know. It's the ambience. It's the ambience. I think it's, it's a, a, it's a, it's the power of that, that particular geography. I think so. Yeah. वो कहते हैं ना कि हवा में, पानी में, मिट्टी में वो है वो. वो है, है, है. Yeah. Excellent. Brilliant. Any, any particular series that you're working right now that you want to do? Okay, this is something series which I'm going to do, and that too, especially huge, big ones. because i remember i remember uh, selling one of your paintings long back when from the, uh, from my art gallery when i was in india I remember that this thing and uh, that artwork was bought by a german a lady had visited uh, this thing uh, manipal there and she had visited my gallery there and there she saw your painting and she is like she just entered सामने तुम्हारा पेंटिंग था ऐसा सी जस्ट एंटर्ड सो दैट आई वांट दिस एंड देन शी वेंट शी एंटर्ड द गैलरी विद इन थ्री मिनट्स शी वेंट बैक शी एंटर्ड शी शी सो दिस आई वांट दिस हाउ मच दिस थिंग एंड देन शी वेंट बैक एंड देन हैड टू पैक एंड सेंड इट टू द होटल लाइक आई रिमेंबर दिस so so uh, i was always curious because i have seen your works which is uh, uh, on paper this thing and all but uh, do you have any plans of making those face series in on huge canvases with huge figuratives and all huge theme what happens is it is very uh, easy to kind of blow up kind mm -hmm. uh, you know increase in size but it loses that power as it becomes big the format should be such that it should 
a landscape can be small, but it can be expensive. Okay. But if I cannot, if I cannot have the same kind of thing, even if this small thing, if it is, I mean, painted huge, it is not going to have that impact which that small thing has. Correct. That it energy has, cannot energy cannot scale up. No, it cannot scale out. So if I have to scale to that height, I have to have that expensive thought also to kind of even the landscape. This happened like, you know, when I was painting a small painting like this big landscape, it was very powerful. But when it came to the big canvas, it was like, Are, it, is, it is it is dead. So for that, it, it I don't know what is the process, but I want that that kind of scale like anselm kaifa mm -hmm. these are the guy <laughs> whom i <laughs> for the landscapes it has to be that impact if you want to go in that scale of uh working so it 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 requires space it requires everything it requires your uh, uh It requires that energy also kind of to go with that. Correct. So I would love to do that. Not replicate whatever is his, but do it in the same way or some way which can be mine or which can say it is okay, it's something new. It is a very difficult, it 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 cannot, you know, because everybody has done and gone. So to do it again with a difference becomes becomes a thought process it's challenging. yeah it's very right. challenging you cannot replicate it so for, even when i say i want to make those huge paintings it will be a long process i will fail a lot many times to a kind of scale to it uh, i can tackle up to now five by six at the most but mm -hmm. bigger than that for a landscape or even it it, it requires a different uh, set up at for it like you know and uh, ah, i would love to do that change the some things the landscapes 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 are going on i love landscapes good good uh we would we would wait for it i would especially be curious to see your new series your bigger one series and try to know and try to see the fight, the battle that's going on between you and the canvas, and want to see. <laughs> Hope so. Yeah, I would yeah. love to see that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you very much, Shilpa. It was really interesting to have an interaction with you, and it was. Uh, it's like I once again should say that I am very fascinated by your artworks. They're brilliant. <laughs> thank you, thank you, and it was nice to be on your show. I would. Nice to, I mean, I could talk about something. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. I, know. I, I, I definitely understand that uh, you have, I think, uh, about this interview, we, we spoke about four or five times, and this date has been scheduled and rescheduled because you are taking time to. I, I, I realize that you are really buying time to think over and try to phrase words. <laughs> to I your, was. <laughs> to your complete process, trying to find out what am I doing, what am I doing, what am I doing. It's very difficult to understand what I'm doing also. Sometimes you don't realize what you're doing and why you do it. It is your it is your whim and you go along with that whim. <laughs> Ho jata hai. Yeah. Ho jata hai. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Friends. Uh, I believe that uh, this interview or this discussion with Shilpa Nasnolkar, you found it interesting. Do let us do let us know what you think about this. Like, share, comment, and subscribe our TV. And thank you very much for being with us here. Thank you, Shilpa, once again. Thank you.